Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LCGM007, and today we're looking at the Jules plugin, which is why I have my other account here. So, this plugin is really easy to set up, it has a ton of features, and you can create loads of different custom kits and arenas just to make it a bit more interesting. So, let's go ahead and look at the commands. If you do forward slash Jules, uh, we can see all of the commands here. So, first of all, let's go ahead and grab a kit out of this chest. I've just grabbed some items. And we are going to put the armor on and put this over here. And this is just going to be another kit. So if we do forward slash jewels and then save kit and we can name it something. So let's call this one Archer. There we go. And then we can just get rid of all of this because it has been saved. Once we have done that, we need to create an arena. We're going to use this one and create a lobby point. So once you're here, do forward slash jewels set lobby. There we go. So now we need to actually create the arena. Let's go ahead and jump down here and do forward slash jewels create followed by a name. So we're going to call it server miner. There we go. And we need to set each position for each player. Let's go on the blue square and do forward slash jewels set followed by the arena name server miner. If we can spell it correctly, that always helps. Then one or two. So this is going to be player one. Go over to the other spawn point on red. And this is going to be player two. Now we are pretty much done, but there are a couple more commands. So there is the forward slash jewels toggle command and we can toggle an arena by doing that so you can disable it or enable it if you want to I don't know change it or build it again or whatever and there is a couple more commands to do with kit so you can load a kit to see what it looks like so jewels load kit and then we called it archer and we will see that this is what the kit looks like and then you can delete kits as well obviously using a uh, very similar command so after that, all we need to do is challenge someone to a duel. So we're going to challenge my other account here. And the way we do that is forward slash duel or forward slash 1v1 followed by a player name. So ltgym007. There we go. And then this GUI will pop up. So we can choose any of these kits. I made these two earlier. Um, so this one is one we created. Let's go with that. And then we get to choose an arena. So this one I created earlier and this one we just created. So let's go in that. And they are both available. So once we've done that, he will have 30 seconds to answer my request or it gets expired. So I'm here on my other account and we better be quick. So forward slash jewel accept and then my name. Once we've done that, we'll be teleported to the arena on the spawn points we set. There will be a countdown of five seconds and there we go. The duel has started. And... Um, we seem to be getting... My other account's in creative, isn't he? <laughs> That's that old trick. So now he's in survival. Um, we can actually damage him. And hopefully we win, as uh, no one's controlling him. We should. There we go. So as you can see, um, we have won. It says there, Jules LT Gym 007 has defeated LT Gym with 10 health. And we get teleported back to the lobby up here. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel. And as you can see, there are quite a few files in the Jules folder. However, the only one you want to mess around with is the config. The rest just save data and information about what you've set up. So let's go ahead and go into the config.yml. And once we're in here, there is quite a lot we can look at. So up at the top, we have patches, which is a very useful section. Um, other plugins such as Essentials and Factions could um, glitch out this plugin. So if people use the forward slash back command, you can set this to true and that patches an exploit. And then you can see vanish is another issue, teleportation, force PVP, etc. So if you have any issues or glitches with this plugin, check here and you might be able to solve it. If not, obviously contact the developer. Down here we can change the countdown or even disable it. And if you want to increase or de decrease the countdown, you can add more messages or take them away. Down here you can block projectiles and PVP while the countdown is running. Obviously you don't want people to attack each other before it's started. Then we have a bit of information about GUI. You don't need to customize this, but you could if you wanted. A few things about spectating, so whether you want people to be able to spectate with a cleared inventory or not, and the commands they can actually use when they are spectating. Then we are on the dueling, so max duration is 10 minutes currently. The winner will get one diamond and the loser will get dirt, but you could obviously change this to give them, I don't know, an amount of money or send them a message saying better luck next time or whatever, and whether you want people to actually be able to spectate. You can also allow people to use their own inventory, but um, they will lose their own items. So be careful about that. There's a few more 
Um, things you can set here such as whether you want people to drop items, pick up items, etc. and block all commands. This might be a good idea, um, although if admins are in a duel they might need to ban or kick someone for whatever reason. Which is why we have whitelisted commands. These are the commands that players or admins can use when they are in a duel. And then we have a long list of disabled commands such as heal, uh, end the chest, kits, obviously you don't want people using kits um, that aren't the ones that you've set. Scroll down a bit more and you can have dual zones if you use this in conjunction with world guard and um, these are the regions that would be a dual zone. Scroll down a bit more and then we have stats so you need um, 10 matches to display your stats. Scroll down even more and we have some sounds which is pretty cool. Um, when the messages count down you probably heard the sound, I think I've got sound on. And that is it, so it's a fantastic plugin, really easy to set up and you can customize it a lot as I've seen, this is a huge YML file. But if you want to download it the link is in the description as long as if you want to download it, the link is in the description as well as my channel. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that is it for me for this week. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.